Hi, my name is Roger. In this video we're going to uh, work uh, on this push button. It is exactly the same push button as in the previous video, only the colors are different. Uh, with this one I have deleted the icons, but it has the same animation as the one with the icons, but I thought it is a good idea to show you in the beginning of this complete series that uh, you don't want too much information or too much going on on an area like a push button. So the animation is completely equal to the one over here. So this is the animation. We have only a bar at the bottom and that's all it does, the animation. The only thing is we have no icon. Now here you have the icons and the same animation. And all of that happens on this small area. Now that's a lot of information on an area like this because you have colors, you have three different colors, you have an appearing and disappearing bar at the bottom, you have text and an image or in our language icon. Um, that's a lot of information to process for someone who only wants to use your program. Uh, if you design for yourself you can do whatever you like of course, but if you do it for someone else keep that in mind that this is something it is easier to process for someone what is going on. So having said that let's go to the animation because that's more fun for us. Um, here we have the paint event of the custom canvas of the previous video. Everything is the same, except the colors. I've deleted the background color of uh, the canvas of from our push button. I simply delete it and I placed this color with transparency in its place. That's all I did. So now this one has no more the variable, but that's okay because we want to have an animated bar that appears and disappears on our canvas. So at the bottom you see two new lines. Um, first of all, the color. This is the same color as from the canvas, but now we have the variable here. You can also have it there try it out how that looks and feels like and I would say feel it not only look at it but feel what happens when you do something like that and you start hovering over your design you have to feel it um, so transparency goes with the bar so it appears and disappears and these are the coordinates of our canvas. Now why do I say here when I said uh, just ago, a minute ago you have to feel it. Um, I always worked with colors and you have to feel it. If you feel it is right, it is right. Then your design is good. If it feels not exactly right, don't show others your design. So that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully it will help you.